Hey guys, we are here sharing August favorites today. I am glad August is I uh, know. Oh. August is my first month, so I should That's be more so, excited. I'm, I'm so sorry for you. But it's just <laughs> miserable here. It is. August is one of the worst months, but honestly, September to me is just as hot. I don't know. No, <laughs> September's way better. I think. There's yeah. hopes. There's hopes in September. Anyway, so I'm glad August is wrapping up. So we're just going to share with you today some things we've been loving this month. So, I feel like we both have been sewing up a uh, great. storm. You think it's because we can't do anything else? Because it's Absolutely. Too hot. <laughs> it's yeah. like people that live in Wisconsin in the winter yes, is the equivalent probably. of us in, in August. Yeah, because in the winter here, we're outside, yeah. eating outside. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I've been sewing a ton. Yeah. A ton. Yep. I took a whole week of sewcation um, in August. I got a bunch done, and I have another one planned in September. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right, well. I'm wearing, okay. I'm wearing one of my. Uh, I'm wearing one of mine too. Yeah. <laughs> I have been loving double knits. I am just obsessed with double knits lately. I don't know why. Um, this one is one I actually found on fabric.com. I mentioned before, I'm, I don't know. They, they have, they have a lot more great fabric options lately. I don't That's know. Really cute. Yeah. I used to shop a lot there, you know, when I was a beginner and I was doing more of the quilting cottons. Um, but they're really doing a lot of nice apparel fabric. So this is just a really nice double knit. Um, double knits are so easy to sew with. I love them. They're such a quick, easy, gratifying sew. This is the Anari Crop Tee. I'm surprised because it's so graphic and you're like a floor, you're our floral. I like anything that resembles some sort of gingham or check. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I that's my it. type of geometric. So a stripe and a stripe. check. Okay, okay. Check. You're right, that Love makes sense. Them. Yeah. So double knits. Um, anyways, I've got a lot of things I made out of double knits. I made another Anari. Well, I made the other one first. I made an Anari tea dress out of this palm tree fabric. Um, really like this it one. It turned out really cute. It's really cute. I'm having trouble though because it's a it's a little too long and I meant I knew it was gonna be too long because um, the straps are you know like five seven I'm five four and I meant to shorten the pattern before I cut it and just when I went to cut it completely forgot. So I want it to be a little shorter. I'm a little uncomfortable with the length. I feel like it overwhelms me a little bit. So that's the easiest thing to fix. It's not because of the um, the cocoon shape and it's um, got the, the slits in the front. So it's not that. I haven't fix. made it, so I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know. It's constructed. I don't know, or maybe it's my shoes I'm wearing. With. I haven't. Even, I have not worn it yet. I was thinking about actually cropping it off. I'm not. I don't know. It, like into a shirt. Into this. Yeah. <gasps> wow. The okay. fabric cost. This fabric was so cheap. I think it was like ten dollars a yard, maybe. And it takes a yard and a half for the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> for the dress. So I wouldn't. Be it's true though. I mean, that you much are money. petite. I mean, you're mm -hmm. shorter, and you're also narrower. So any time that you have just like a big bold print like that, yeah, it, is, it like can be overwhelming. I didn't yeah. feel that way when I saw it. No, though. that makes you feel better. I think I need to. I like to wear something out and kind of get reactions from people to mm -hmm. see, and then if maybe if I don't get a lot of compliments, maybe I'll cut it off. <laughs> That's so interesting. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so there's that one, and then I also made um, the Hey June Patterns Charleston dress out of this palm tree. I don't know what's going on with me and palm trees lately. <laughs> it's not just you. It's everywhere. everywhere. Okay. Yes. Because I also bought some scuba with palm trees yes. on it. <laughs> they have a really pretty one at Blackbird. I, really? I want to tell you to go look at it because it's so pretty, but I want to don't want to tell you because I don't want to feed this new obsession <laughs> of yours. It's really, really, really Well, I have pretty. to look now. I mean, there's just no going back. Well, let me know if you get some. Maybe okay. you can split shipping. <laughs> <laughs> like a plan. <laughs> anyway, so I love how this dress came out. It is, it's really fun. Um, it's up on my blog. You can check it out there. Fabrics from Style Maker Fabrics. Um, so the double knit continues. I picked up a cream. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but Where see you get the this one. This is Style Maker Fabrics too. Nice. She's got a lot of great double knits on her site and they're all so cheap. I mean, I guess because there's poly in it, so they're, well, yeah, but they don't feel cheap. They feel like no, it feels really, really nice. nice. It's so soft. It's yeah. got this texture on it. I don't know. I was kind of thinking a Charleston dress, but if, if I make another Charleston dress, I should probably wait because it's white. Creamy. It's winter white, which is not the same. I guess I, if maybe if I did like an above the elbow sleeve, mm -hmm. that could make it a little more into the next season. I don't know. I also thought about just the top. I don't, there, there's a million things I'd like to do with it. So, anyways, double knits. Check them out. If you've never sewn with a double knit, they're so easy. 
You can sew them on your sewing machine. You don't need a serger. They hem beautifully. I could go with one. <laughs> <laughs> well, my first favorite is has also to do with fabric, and but it's actually um, just the clearance section at Joann's. <laughs> as silly as that seems, I don't know what has been going on lately, but I have been scoring some serious finds yep. in there. Um, I don't think I've, I've been there. I'm going to have to check it out now. Yeah, so, okay, well, the first rule is you have to wait until the clearance is on sale. Mm -hmm. So they mark down some fabrics, but honestly, the prices is, is like a dollar cheaper than what it usually is. So it's not that good of a deal. But whenever they mark down the clearance section half off, then you can get fabrics for $2 a yard, $5 a yard. Wow. I mean, really, <laughs> really cheap. Wrong. Yeah. So, you know, you kind of go in with the mindset of, hey, I'm going to buy, I'm going to find some wearable muslins mm -hmm. in here. And then you find something and you really love it. And you're like, but no, I, don't, I know this was cheap, yeah. but I still want it to work out. So this shirt is one of the finds that I found, which is kind of totally random. And I probably never would have picked it up if it was in the main section of the store, but it jumped out to me, um, in the clearance section and I thought well that would make a really cute easy top mm -hmm. um, this is the willow tank top simple darts um, I didn't even really concern myself a lot with matching I matched the stripes that didn't match the pattern mm -hmm. to the back which was fine um, and it's just like this really interesting patchwork and then for the hem I just got my seam ripper out the first time I've ever seen ripped something for a good reason <laughs> and not a frustrating <laughs> reason and I just seam ripped you know where that met up and then that uh -huh. became the hem so cool so it was really easy yeah and then okay. the spacings on the top so this was one that was really fun and different i've gotten compliments when i've worn this out so if you're using abby's um <laughs> engagement <laughs> method of determining whether something's cute or not yeah. other people's opinions um this, like people's this opinions. qualifies <laughs> um and then if you follow me on instagram you've seen a couple of other things that i've posted this isn't hemmed yet but it is a rayon chalet um, culotte pattern. They're shorts. Um, and this rayon came from Joanne's clearance section. That's Isn't really it nice. really cute? Yeah, yeah, I like that. The pattern I use is a Palmer, Palmer and Fletch. Fletch? I don't know how to say it. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with McCall's, you know they have the Palmer and Fletch patterns that are known for like helping you fit things mm -hmm. and um there is a specific diner, designer melissa um i can't remember her last name melissa i know a lot of melissa's in real life so i think i'm getting them confused anyways when i posted this she commented and said wow. how cute the, she noted the fabric specifically nice. how much she liked the fabric See, it felt good didn't it yeah <laughs> yeah it did feel really good for the pattern designer to kind yeah. of like Oh yeah, but like kind of like maybe that's what she had in mind when yeah. she designed it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really cute pattern, and I think that this little floral just went perfectly with it. And of course, Rayon Shally and culottes, they go really well together. Yeah. Another one that I found in the clearance section is this really pretty sweater knit. I love that. You should have got me some of that. You know that's right up my alley. I bet it's still there. And what's cool about it is I could use the underside for yeah. I need to clip these threads. I could use the wrong side for the cuffs and the neckband and the waistband and then just use the dots for the body of it. So cute. Have you washed it yet? The, like, I pre-washed it. Okay, and it seems fine. I haven't worn it. It's been 100 degrees right, but, here. Well, yeah, but pre-washing, it's Pre-washing, yes. Yeah. Super You cute. like it? Was, yeah. This was $5 a yard. This was, the Charlie was $5 a yard. This might have been $5 a yard, maybe. But, yeah. I bet you like to go to the clearance section because you're also into the Goodwill. Yes, I am so I am a bargain shopper no matter if I was shopping ready to wear, mm -hmm. if I'm shopping, I mean, I used to be really into couponing, like I yeah, really? had a notebook and everything. Well, oh yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was pretty major. Um, so yeah, yeah, I like to find deals. It makes me feel better about yeah. Things. Yeah, I mean, I'm all, I don't buy something unless it's on sale usually either, um, but I just don't usually seek out, like, clearance, like, where you really have to hunt, I guess. I've yes. never kind of done that type yes. of thing. Yes, that is the thing. I mean, obviously, you can't just walk up there and stumble upon fabrics like yeah, this. Same. You really you have to... You can't go with the mindset thinking that I'm going to find fabrics no. today. Yeah. No. I mean, when I go there, I will go bolt by bolt, walk down, 
the entire length of this section and then all the way down the I'll get on the floor and I'm gonna scooting <laughs> along on the floor, touching everything, seeing what it's made of. A lot of it that's in there is quilter cotton, so you can quickly kind of move yeah. on from that. But um you can find some really cool and interesting things tucked away in there for sure. Cool. I don't really have any other tips other than you just go one by one, yeah. just like you would at Goodwill mm -hmm. or TJ Maxx or any of those right. places where they don't have multiples usually right. of anything. So, right. And cool. then when you check out, make sure that your discount has applied because I've purchased clearance fabric before and they didn't apply the 50% off so oh, yeah Joanne's when you're at the checkout I get so much anxiety because it's like <laughs> the coupons because you're you're using a coupon when you go yeah. to Joanne's I'm like did this coupon work then I get a teacher's discount on top of that yeah. it's just overwhelming yeah. for me so yeah it's a lot but anyways yeah. it's totally <laughs> worth it and you can find some really cool contemporary cute things um, if you just dedicate the time, but only do it when it's 50% off. I don't want to hear about any of y'all going there. <laughs> Let's even into the yeah, No, no you have sale. to wait for the sale. <laughs> and I'm going to clip these threads before I put this back in the closet. Okay, so next. All my stuff kind of ties together today. So um, I have a new pattern that I tried this month. This is the Megan Nielsen axle skirt you guys know if you've been following us that i'm a huge fan of megan nielsen patterns i love everything she does they're very practical so they're a little pricier but you're not gonna sew this one time it is fits really into your wardrobe it will pair with everything that you already have they're just practical patterns that really you're going to sell multiple versions of so really it's cost effective um but this is just a fitted knit skirt um which fitted usually isn't my style, like especially on my bottom half. I don't know. I don't like things to be fitted except for skinny jeans, but skinny jeans with flowy tops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was surprised that I was drawn to this. I don't know if it was just because I love Megan Nielsen. So I'm like, gotta try it. That's it. <laughs> um, but I tried it and I love it. You probably it. saw some cute versions. Probably because, you know, I follow her blog. She's got a great blog and I Google image everything. So I think I was drawn because of the hip sashes. Mm -hmm. I just really like the hip sashes in the front comes with three different versions so there's a knee length um a midi length that has a slit and the pattern is reversible so the front can be back so you can take this slit around the back which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. cool um you i don't think the sash would be very cute in the back but anyways the other one is a handkerchief hem midi length handkerchief hem um so i've sewed up too i sewed up the the above knee length um out of a ponty fabric and this fabric actually doesn't have quite enough stretch so it's riding up on me a little bit um but so you definitely she tells you what you need i should have been better and followed all of her directions <laughs> anyways and then i sewed up the handkerchief one which i absolutely love i've never sewn up that kind of hem before um i really like the length it looks really cute with just about any what kind of fabric could you use for that it's a uh, jersey it's like it's I think it's a ponty knit. I got it at Mood when we went in the fall. It's textured a little bit though, and it's drapier than another, uh, most other ponties. Like okay. it's not very, it's not very stable. So it's actually perfect because because it is drapier. It doesn't hug me as much, which is what I'm into. Yeah. Um, and that version also is a little less booty hugging to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> but I have seen people sew up the knee length one out of drapier fabrics, like not so stiff and it's not as um, curve hugging. So I'm gonna try it again out of something. It's yeah, but isn't it then so thin that you see like all your lumps? See, that's the bump? problem I'm having with online shopping for it. I actually bought this for that skirt. Oh. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, that'd be perfect, that'd be amazing. It came and it was it was too thin. I'm like, ooh, that'll show a little too much. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you just need to make it with a ponty again, but go up a size. Yeah, or just really check the stretch, the stretch of it. Mm -hmm. um, I just felt like it would be okay, but I don't think it was. A lot of sites too, when you're shopping online, will tell you the stretch. Yeah. So I just need to watch and be a little more careful. And they, is it Megan Nielsen the one that? She yeah, she gives you a stretch company? on the back of the pattern. I mean, cool. Oh, Abby. Abby. Really? Okay, Abby. never mind. <laughs> yeah, I have no excuses. But anyways, um. I have been pairing it, well, you'll see, I did a blog post about this. I'm pairing it um, with things for the fall. And I love pairing it with things that cover a little bit because I don't always love hip hugging. So I like the fitted knit skirt with a flowy cardigan, something that covers my bum. Um, so I'm not feeling so self-conscious. 
So I paired it also with a kimono, which I thought was so cute. I'm really loving that. And then of course the, the one with the handkerchief hem is not as figure hugging, so I'm pairing that with just about anything. anything. So yeah. Love this pattern. Oh, and by the way, the knee length one takes a yard. <laughs> oh. It takes nothing. So you can make lots of them. Yeah. And not feel so guilty because it costs nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, so my next thing, I guess I'll do this one next. So this is a bag of interfacing. So today we you were going to talk. told me you're ordering. I needed some interfacing. But I ordered this a long time ago. Oh, okay. But I just <laughs> really started using it yeah. a lot this month. Um, I think because in the summertime I sew lighter weight fabrics mm -hmm. and this stuff is really so good for that. Yeah. So I really want to encourage everyone to step away from the Pellin SF101 interfacing. <laughs> step away from it Best for just a there. minute and hear me out on some of these higher end interfacings that you can buy. Mm -hmm. So for example, on this skirt, the waistband is interfaced. Feel that waistband. Yes. Isn't that lovely? Yes, I bet you use the sheer one. Yes, the sheer weight one. I, use, I have some of their interfacing too. I'm running out though. Yes, I use the Pro Sheer <laughs> yeah. Elegance Light Fusible Interfacing. Yes. So this is all. This comes from FashionSewingSupply.com, and they have, gosh, a bunch of different types of sewing uh, of interfacing, and they do a really good job of explaining to you which interfacing mm -hmm. is good for which project. So they have one, for example, that's just for the collar of a men's shirt because you need that to be extra mm -hmm. super stiff. They have some that are really great for jeans waistbands. Then they have some that are really great for really lightweight fabric. So you kind of have to look through and figure out, well, you know, what project you're sewing and what you need the interfacing for. But I highly recommend yeah. buying this interfacing, especially if you're making something that you are going to be really proud of mm -hmm. and something you really love. It's not a wearable muslin. Yeah, yeah, the interfacing makes such a difference in terms of how it wears and how it feels mm -hmm. and like the life of the mm -hmm. of the garment after you're done. Um, I have a bunch of different types here. Um, at one point in my sewing life, I thought I would be able to make jeans and I still <laughs> haven't been able to tackle that. And I know that there are a lot of resources out there and I've tried them. I just have a funky bottom half that doesn't want me to be able to make my own jeans, <laughs> nor does it want me to be able to find them that fit in the stores either. So I really just, I'm sorry. <sighs> It's really frustrating. Anyway, so I have some there here for jeans, but, um, and then, then I have the, like I said, the sheer elegance one that I really like. I have one for, that's called Pro Tricot. It's for knit, for knit. That's the one I want to try. Their, yeah. Their tricot, I haven't tried I have that. Some of that. And then I have a medium weight, um, it's called Pro Weft Supreme Medium Weight Fusible Interfacing. Um, and that's most similar to like an SF 101, mm -hmm. like, Kind of universal use it for anything type of thing so those are the ones that i have i love them all um, and just highly recommend you trying some you know professional grade interfacings mm -hmm. for your projects yeah and we really cool. like fashion sewing supply.com that's where we get yeah. ours yes definitely very good all right the next two things i have go with everything else i've talked about um so I have a cover stitch machine and my cover stitch machine never worked right from the time I took it out of the box. I, I thought it was user error all along. Finally, after a year, <laughs> I took it to the shop. I was without it for over a month. Um, so I had to resort back to twin needle hemming things. Um, so I, when I got my Viking sewing machine, it really sews a lot of knits better. So I was sewing a lot more knits and using my twin needle on there, but I noticed a lot of skipping stitches um, when I was sewing. So I went back to the shop where I bought it from and um, looked at their different twin needles and it's that Inspira, you know that needle brand, have you ever seen them? Inspira, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but it was a twin needle that said for Jersey fabric, a ballpoint twin needle. Well. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that you're, um, you would have skipped stitches if you're sewing with a twin needle that's not meant for um, stretch fabric. Just like if you were sewing with a single needle. Exactly. So they're really hard to find for some reason. Joann's, 
I can't find that much OEMs. Um, so when my Inspira one finally and need it replaced um, recently when I had to go back to using it. I'm like, I really need a new one. And, and that shop didn't have any of the, that particular stretch kind. So I was searching everywhere online. I did find one on Amazon, a stretch twin needle on Amazon. So I just want to mention that to you guys, if you're noticing skip stitches when you're using a twin needle um, with your regular sewing machine, it might be because it's not meant for knit fabrics. So what it is make a willing needle? Zwilling Snadle Stretch Twin Needle. No idea. I, I have not tried this particular one yet. It's it's by Schmidt. Yeah. But it's um, called a Zwilling Snadle Stretch <laughs> Twin Needle. If y'all know what that means, <laughs> no let idea. us know. No idea. But you know you've got the big ones too, right? Yeah, that's what I like. Okay. You don't like that one? Well, it what depends on what you're sewing. I like that one. For your double knits, I'm sure. It's yeah. Fine. Um... I really like the Inspire. I was having a hard time finding, finding that one online. I don't know. If you guys got any other resource, resources for twin needles, yeah. let, let us know. know. Yeah. My cover stitch machine is back, so I won't have to resort to it as much. But the axle I sewed, I actually did sew with the, um, the twin needle that needed replacing. So. Yeah. Anyways, but along with the twin needle um, is if you ever notice that your stitches aren't looking so great on your knit fabric, you might want to try some double stick fusible tape. Um, I've got a couple different ones here because I was having some issues with it. This is the one I've always used, the Light Easy Steam 2. It's always worked good for me, um, but I was recently just sew sewing a top with my cover stitch that's really thin, drapey fabric, and it was having nothing to do with it. I was trying the Light Easy Steam. It made no difference. It was just gathering up my fabric. It was like tunneling. If you ever have tunneling when you're twin needling, um, not good. This was not working. Um, I do recommend it for other things, but super lightweight, not good. So I tried um, this one. You might, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know. Um, I was asking people about this light steam a steam, steam a seam two. Completely fixed my stitches, but after a little while, my needle would gunk up, and mm -hmm. then it would start to skip. So I'm like, it says nowhere on here whether it's meant for a sewing machine. Um, so I asked my Instagram followers, do you guys know? Some people said you could, some people said they had no problem, some people said it was gunking them up. Um, so I do just want to mention that it is a great option. I was having some trouble with it, but some people said they didn't. So, that's one. This one, I was recommended. I haven't tried. What did <gasps> you take? Do you have it? No, but I was ready for you to say, I found the Goldilocks of hem tapes. <laughs> I'm reaching out to you guys for, to help me with it a little bit. Um, I'm going to try it out. I will let you know somebody recommended Wash Away Wonder Tape, um, thought that it might help. I can only find this bad boy on Amazon. I don't know. I was having a hard time finding it. Um, Wash Away Wonder Tape. Um, Dritz has a brand too, but this one looked like it had a little bit better review, so I decided to go with this one. And then I have something else coming in the mail. For some reason, the best way I could find it was through Walmart ship to your store, that option. Mm -hmm. But it won't come until like September. So, oh my gosh. But it's um, the, the Pellin, um, it's a fusible knit Okay. Uh, tape. So it's a little different, that but it promising. really says to help stabilize a hem. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping maybe that yes. one will we'll do the trick. You know what we need to do? Do you still, so whenever you were practicing on that, were you practicing on scraps? Yeah, I tried. Okay, okay so let's save those okay. and then do it on these and we'll have okay. a four part test to see like a science experiment. Yeah. That'd be so fun. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let you know. If you guys know any other options, please. Yeah, oh, yeah. Please. We will have a 10 part. I've got a four part. different options here. I just, I love sewing knits. I love making knit tops. And I'm so excited to have my cover stitch machine back. But it's just not working with these really lightweight knits that I love. Yeah. Because they're so soft and drapey. So, I, I'll give it a try. Okay. Hopefully something works. Perfect. <laughs> my last one is a zipper. So, Again, in thinking about, you know, improving your garments, you know, we spend a lot of time and money on these fabrics. And then a lot of times with the notions, we'll just kind of go with whatever's, you know, there or whatever we're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So um, we went to New York City and we went to Sill Thread. Is that what it's called? Sill Thread Inc. Yeah. Um, 257 West, 50, West 38th Street in New York City's Garment District. And I saw the whole collection of zippers that they had 
um, kind of like on the back left and was just immediately drawn to them because the zipper tape, the tape itself is so flexible, mm -hmm. so light, so unlike the zippers that I, we've been using yeah. literally the whole time that yeah. we've been sewing. And so I was like, I am going to be able to use these on some lighter weight fabrics. I was picturing like a voile. Um, I installed one into this rayon chalet. Feel that. That's awesome. Isn't that lovely? You don't get that like the pucker. Zipper, yeah. yeah. Like you would get um, with a zipper that had a, a thicker tape. I mean, it's the same thing with interfacing. It's the same thing with using a heavier fabric on a pattern that's supposed to be lightweight. It's mm -hmm. the same concept, but for some reason we just don't allow ourselves to explore and find that they have things like this professional grade type things mm -hmm. that are good for us. So you can order, um, from silthreadink.com and that's S-I-L, I'll link it down below. Um, but it's a YKK zipper and YKK is very popular. They probably have their own website. Um, so you can find these. I don't know a lot about this type of zipper at all. All I can tell you is that it's like a mesh tape. It's an invisible zipper. Um, they had a very limited number of colors, so it might only come in yeah. like the basic colors. Yeah, um, but they did have a lot of sizes. Yeah. So, um, I feel like it made a huge difference whenever I sewed up this skirt with a rayon chalet um, and I needed a zipper to go in. I feel like it made yeah. a huge difference. So I'm so sad that I didn't pick up any of those zippers. Um, they were looking at them and, you know, buying, <laughs> you bought more than one too, didn't you? I feel like I bought four or five. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why I need those. I I don't know. I just couldn't think at the time. Very overwhelming shopping. <laughs> yeah, and I, that was probably the end. I think it was the yeah, end of the day, was. the end of our trip. Yeah. But I am, I'm going to be sewing up a pair of culottes. I have a pattern and I'm probably going to pick a lightweight drapey fabric like that. And it's just not going to work with a regular visible zipper. Now well, I've seen yours. we will find them online. And just like all of our viewers, you can go buy them online. Just like everyone else. Because I'm going to want to buy some more too. Yeah, I, mean, okay. I got um, a few of them kind of thinking that this is going to make, like, in my mind, like this is going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I was right. Did. I was right. Definitely. It definitely does. I'm really, really proud. I'm really happy um that i have these to use very cool yeah so did you that's it? okay yeah that's wow everything. that was that was a lot of talking yeah it's a it's a chatty <laughs> a chatty favorites video we, you know we haven't seen each other for a while though so I mean, oh maybe, maybe that's, that's what why. it is it did feel like we were catching up a little yeah. bit oh yeah. cute okay <laughs> well thanks so much for watching um i hope you enjoyed all of our august favorites give this video a thumbs up if so don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and follow us on all of our social media we are at inside the hem everywhere see you guys next time bye y'all